guys welcome back to the dev channel and today we're going to be making a twitter styled splash screen so it's the screen before we open our main app um, to our main app and yeah let's start running tweet let's get started hey guys and welcome to today's video and today we are going to be um, making a uh, super cool, super dope splash screen. And uh, we'll just show you what this is going to look like. And boom, and that's basically what we're going to be doing today. It's, it's really awesome. You know, all the top apps have them. Um, we're just going to. I've already set up my uh, Xcode project, so if you want to just go ahead and I'll just call this splash screen UI. I'm just going to talk you through what I've actually drag and dropped into my assets folder. Now this is the image that we are going to be using for the splash screen itself. Now in Sketch, if I can just quickly open this up, I'm going to show you. Um, we uh, have an option when we export images to do them in a 1x, 2x, 3x, but we can also export them as a PDF. And that's what I've done here. So if you go ahead and just do whatever kind of image you want to do there on a PDF image and drag it in, it will actually come in as a 1x, but if you just drag it over to a 2x, it's perfectly fine. And we will dive right in. Right, so. What we're going to do is go in, actually, before we start coding, into our main.storyboard. And we are just going to get a label so we know when our animation for our home, for our launch screen is done. We are actually inside the app. And we're just going to go down here and some constraints of uh, the horizontal and vertical we'll keep that right in the middle and I'm just gonna quickly say this and go over to our launch screen right so we make sure that we are actually in our view and come over here to and on this one where has our background um, I'm actually going to do a custom background for right now and it's gonna be 200 and 55 and uh, for our green it's going to be 53 and for our blue we are going to have 79 so we're going to have this reddish pinkish red color it's obviously you could have whatever color you wish obviously um but i'm just going to have that and then we're just going to get an image and drag that in here and add some constraints. We want this horizontal and vertical in the center. And I'm gonna have mine at 100 and also 100. And I'm gonna add my AR image in here. So that looks super dope and that's just quick and easy. And uh, now we're gonna go into our code where we are going to do the magic. So we're going to go let. I'm going to go inside here actually before we do all this wrong. Uh, bring this up right there. Um, AR image. This is just going to be our image view. Um, obviously, I am naming it from this here. So obviously, you name yours whatever you want. Image. image view there we go and then image and we're gonna go UI image and then we're gonna go named the string and it's going to be called AR and we are then gonna give it the exclamation mark because we are we know it's there so there's going to be no problems with that and we're just going to go let's splash view oh dear this is what happens when you talk really quick on the uh, keyboard 
you all of you. Okay, so now we can get rid of all this. And we're just going to set a couple things up because at the minute, if we go into here, we need a view that actually covers this. Because let's say if you are, let's say if you've got a social media app like Instagram or Twitter, we need to give our app a couple of minutes of delay so it can pull down a feed, for example. So this may be a two second delay, three second delay, five second delay, or whatever. And we just need a view to cover this view for a couple of couple of seconds. So we're going to do that first. So we're just going to say um, splash view dot background color equals UI color. Um, and now we need red. Where is it? Red, red, green, blue, and alpha. And now I'm going to do 24. 255 over 255 and our green is going to be 53 over 255 and our blue is going to be 79 over 255 and our alpha is going to be 1.0 and that's basically just our color and now we are going to add our view to our sub view and this is going to be splash view okay now we actually need to give this a frame so we're going to go splash view dot frame equals cg rect and we need to give this a yep now this one so we're going to go zero and for the y zero and for the height we're going to go view dot bounds dot height what width sorry and then for this one we are going to do view dot bounds dot height all right so and now we need to sort out our image because basically we're going to be scaling this up well down and then up again so it's going to be like a it's popping right off the view and we're just going to Double check, go back into our launch screen for a second, and we need to just make sure that this is on aspect fit, which it is. So now we are going to do AR image dot content mode equals dot scale aspect fit, which is also to make sure that image stays exactly the same. And now what we're going to want to do is add this to the super view AR image awesome All right now we need to give this also a frame and a position well just a frame basically because what we're going to do is we we want to take it down half right so let's say our height is a hundred percent and we just want to we want basically want to do half of that so it scales down nicely, but then it to pop back up nice as well. So it's really, you know, so you can see basically. So it's not, not as pixelated, right? So we're going to do this. So we are going to say splash view dot frame dot mid x. So we're placing it in there. And then we're going to say take away. Well, 50 half it by 50 and then we're going to do the same for the y slash view dot mid y this time dot frame mid y and then we are taking away 50 percent and our height is currently at 100 and our width and height is at 100 so now we need to take now all that's done we need to take care of our actual animations now. So first we're gonna just do our scale down. Down animation. And we'll do our do we'll do our um 
scale up after this one. So UI view. Dot animate. Oh, sorry, my bad. There we go. Right now, let's see. Um, this one's good. So we want zero point five here. So this is gonna. It's going to be five seconds before this actually goes off. Uh, also, it scales down. It's going to be five, and then we're just going to drop this down. Um, right. So now we want self. Actually, no. Sorry, my bad. I've done this wrong, close to wrong one. We actually want an animations as well. We'll drop this down. Give this the curly bracket. And because we want this in a function where we can say, well, this this bit has successfully scaled down. So then we want to run our next animation on top of that. So. To do that, we are going to write self dot AI image dot transform equals CGA and we are now going to scale that down by half, 0 0.5. Uh, right, now, if this is successful, we need to just run this and then drop this like so. And now, so right. Right down, and then we are going to run our next animation in this section here, but we haven't got one right now, so let's write that scale down animation, uh, which is right here. So, funk scale up, sorry, uh, right. So, now we can actually put this in here. Well, first we need to put self and then animation, right? So we we need to do almost the same in this one for the scale up animation, but because there's because basically what we're doing is we're re then scaling the image back up again. So it's like we are it's at normal image resolution first, and then we are scaling it down half. And then we want to scale it all the way back up again. So it's like the image is almost coming out the screen, if you will. So to do that, we're going to go UI view. Dot animate now. Let's look for this one. We want a delay options and catch handler. We want a handle layer. Right, so. So our time duration is going to be 0 0.35. And our delay is going to be 0 0.1. And for this one, I'd like to use the curve ease in function. Obviously, there's loads of different ones, which I don't really mind which ones you use. That's totally up to you. Right, so this is. That's right. So, okay. So. We are going to write self dot ar image dot transform. We're not giving it a tint color. Transform and equals to caf 
C G A. Oh, and transform and we're going to scale this all right now we're going to scale this by five and five okay because we want that to like blow up boom right in you know as it's like opening a door or opening a window and now we need a function that will basically remove our splash screen altogether and this is what we're going to put in here because after this is ran so basically this is going to be the start of our animation it's then going to proceed to this animation so when this is been when this is ran what are we going to do after this we need to remove this from the super view right so let's just go in and do funk and we're going to be re move splash screen and this is super easy just I want like go so splash view dot remove from super view and this is what we're gonna put in here this and self dot there we go so what we need now is a m an another method that's just before this that's going to be our view did appear method right and inside this we're going to run a dispatch queue that's going to because if we was writing a proper app like I said like an Instagram or a Twitter where we want our splash screen to be our view where we can for two seconds we need to go and fetch them there from somewhere else and bring it into our app like a feed so we need to delay this for two seconds and then we can then you know start running our uh, down animation and our up animation and then we can remove it for then when the user gets into the actual app we are we are set right so Let's start typing this out. So we're gonna go dispatch queue dot main dot async after and this is gonna be our dispatch time so dot now and we're gonna just plus on two seconds right and let's just make some more room here and this can just be dropped right so and then basically as we're doing like we are doing now we just do self dot and we just then tell this to run our scale down method our animation sorry so this is looking it's good to go so let's just uh let's just run this on the simulator and see what happens and boom there it is and that's how we would um programming a splash view um, that looks pretty sick let's just play this once more <laughs> and wait for it and there we go and uh, thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial today and uh, if you do let me know in the comments below and give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one thank you Hi okay, guys, so and thank you for watching today's video. If you uh, enjoyed today's video, please put that thumbs up. And of course, if you want to support my channel and see further Swift tutorials or Swift UI tutorials, or even mobile design tutorials, then please subscribe and turn on post notifications. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.